Okay, what's going on? It's me, Vicstar123 and Syndicate. You got the wrong team. There we go. Right, so what I am bringing you now is, from my perspective, my first and unfortunately last game in the Call of Community charity tournament. So, um, you know, first of all, I'm going to say that I'm really quite happy with this game, considering my massive lack of competitive experience and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to preface this with a few little, um, you know, facts because I was disappointed that they lost, but um, I think it was to be expected. So, so for one, as a team, unfortunately, we hadn't managed to play any games as a full team before this match. We hadn't had one game where we were playing together as a team. Two, I'd never played against a competitive team on Modern Warfare 3 before, and neither had anyone else on our team. Four, um, White Boy and K-Pop, or Like and Favour, as his gamer tag was here, were playing on split screen. They had no mic audio to the rest of the team, so there was no communication with them. And they hadn't played Xbox in about three months. They'd been playing PS3 only. So, um, you know, the odds were already seeming stacked against us straight from the start. Now, actually, Pro Syndicate Tom on the other team was drunk, so we thought that might give us an advantage, but actually, he seemed a little more um, calm and collected, which meant he was just doing absolute work with his shotgun, as you see there. There are very few gunfights I actually win, because that shotgun at close range is just lethal, and a map like Hard Hat really was underestimated. And one thing that you will notice is this game, although it was good, you'll notice at the start, at the beginning here, I was a bit lost. I really didn't know what uh, you know what to do. I was getting used to the competitive environment and I wasn't doing very well but you'll notice the learning curve that I went through in this one 10 minute game. You know had I had another couple of these I think I could have been really up to scratch but it was just you know running into a shotgun or a corner like that was just oh there was nothing I could do and as far as the rules are concerned there was a little bending of the rules from um, white boy or like and favorite he was throwing c4s which weren't strictly allowed but it didn't seem to uh, matter that much in the situation we were in and what else was i going to bring up oh yeah i might add that um, friendly fire was on as well which wasn't the best of things and i've just noticed syndicate seems to be the only one taking me out so really well played to him there with the shotgun again something i wasn't really used to facing in a uh, environment like this so CTF hard hat was a really hard game to have to play because the thing is there was very little communication going on on our team it was three of us communicating and then it was really hard to work out what was going on on the other team they had full communication they were calling out targets you know uh, they had people saying where to run and that kind of stuff whereas we didn't quite have that so it was a real struggle but actually I am quite happy with the outcome that I Got. And you will notice that um, I will. I was much stronger in the second half and particularly towards the end of the game. So using the MP7 here, which was recommended. So I'll use. I'll say my class because this is one of the recommended MLG classes or whatever it is. So I was quite happy to be using it and it worked out quite well. So I had the MP7 extended mags, extreme conditioning, quick draw, dead silence, and focus, just the same as who was that we were expecting in there? I think it was yeah, it was Doctor Cheers. Um, identical to his class and it worked really well but actually towards the end of the game I switched to my more familiar and preferred um, setup which was the UMP and you notice that worked uh, you'll notice that worked really well and here I was doing my best to defend the flag but it is always hard to work out where they're coming from and there is the C4 not allowed I did actually at that point shout Alex it's not allowed but um, no communication going on there which was it was unfortunate to say the least but hey we put in our best effort and um, you know, I'm proud that we did that and again, it's all for charity. So fortunately it was all good I mean, I was trying to do my bit with defending and attacking But it always seemed like there were more of them rushing up that hill than I could deal with that was something that I really found it hard to contend with and um, In the second half we start using that to our advantage towards the end so as you can see here, there's a bit of a mess, a bit of a brawl over the two flags in this area, but Roxy Surfchick, great player. Um, she's really accurate, but I would be inclined to say that she's a little, um, a little too aggressive, especially in a 5v5 situation. And that's something that I think Eric picked up in the shoutcasting, but hey, um, great play from all of us. Now, if I had to describe what it kind of felt like playing in this game, if I'm honest, it kind of felt like getting thrown in at the deep end. We had players on the other team, two in particular, MLC Stealth and Striker. 
these two players just seemed to know where they were going and what they're doing. In fact, all of the uh, players on the other team felt like they knew what they were doing. I was really hoping to get Search and Destroy for our first map in this tournament because I feel that Search and Destroy doesn't require quite as much teamwork as CTF. It's a crazy game to be playing in a competitive environment, so fast paced, changing all the time, trying to, you know, get um, dominance over the enemy spawns, making sure you've got them, you know, it's that picking up that balance between getting kills and getting flags and that's really hard to do and I don't think anyone actually ever gets it right except for these pro players who've been doing it forever but CTF isn't even a game I, I've really played before this tournament and then throwing it into a competitive environment was just mind-blowing. What I would have to say is it's a completely different to a public environment and oh yeah that double spray but again Syndicate on point with that nade could not get out of the way and it is a whole different environment on on um, public matches I'll be looking for which gun has the most ammo in it so I can get you know run in and just tear down targets that aren't going to be shooting back but this is completely different and here again is a mistake I made. I called out Strike from the corner but Alex couldn't hear and then I went back and got killed once again after stunning my teammate by accident. So like I say, I, I made quite a few mistakes and I've noticed those mistakes in watching back and actually I really would have loved to give it another shot, another game or just playing some matches against other teams and... C4 striker would not be happy about that. So, like I say, given the chance to continue doing this, I would absolutely love it. I think I might be starting up some kind of game battle series. If I feel like it, um, we'll have to see how it goes. But I think it would be a lot of fun. Playing competitively is something completely different. And it's definitely worth trying if you've never done it before. And you think, because it kind of takes it to another level compared with... Um, online play and oh, get jumped. I found that once I put on the UMP right about now I felt a lot more comfortable. I was a lot more able to pick up those close range kills just like this one with the drop shot because the UMP has really high damage and although it has that crazy jumping up recoil that doesn't matter too much on a nice small map like Hard Hat. I mean the other maps that it could have been possible that we ended up playing I think I would have done better with the MP7 but I think I left it a little bit too late before switching guns here. And actually we go, I think it's 3-0 down, and we make a real effort, real effort to bring it back. Double car bomb coming right up. We make a real effort to bring it back, but it was, you know, to no avail, and actually you'll see that in a minute. We were so determined. Me, uh, me, Roxy, and Dr. Cheers just, like, said, right, this is it. We've got three minutes. We've, we've got to do it now or never. And we really started, you know, that was when it kind of clicked that um, we could just play as a team as us three and made sure we were doing the right movements and you know, it was we came so close in fact, I'm just kind of anticipating that part, it's around now uh, someone said it like oh my god, we're 3-0 down, right we've got two and a half minutes, let's do it and like, seriously, cue the music getting the drop on Syndicate there, going here, you could tell how I was determined I was playing so aggressively, Yotes lays down Throwing in stun, just gonna charge in, and um, I'm just straight off of that flag. I'm not messing around. Gonna go straight through construction. That was the way I was advised to go, and we made sure we were moving as a team. Here had Roxy Surfchick, she was covering behind, so I was just completely fine to run through Chizard, secured the other side of the flag, and we were like, right, that's one. We've got two minutes. Let's get another two. And believe me, we were trying so hard to get this. I thought I'd uh, push around through middle, and then. Um, she's already taken the flag again, that's what I meant about the aggressive nature, and uh, I'm not sure if she manages to get the cap. Let's look here, I think I'm going back to pick up someone, yep, there's Yotesler, I had a feeling he'd be there, and then they grab our flag, so I'm heading round, and MLC Stealth, even though I'm shooting from behind, doesn't seem to pay much attention, and I get the kill on him, gonna push down here and try and save Roxy, then get that save, but there was another one, and uh, Syndicate comes out of the blue with his shotgun, I was going for the run here, couldn't quite make it but then I think Chiz pulls the flag in the end as you can see here so we were just trying so hard to get that lead back but it kind of felt like it was a 3v5 we just needed that level of communication again I'm going straight in to lock down their flag area me and Roxy going in again just picking up that kill there now this is something alright guys be advised don't stun K-pop accidentally stun K-pop and uh, she kills me <laughs> oh my god, it's so it's almost comedy. It really is, but we we, we you know it's nice to know that we tried our hardest, and I think given a few more practice matches, I think we could have had this. But that was a luxury that we'd not been given, so.
we just did what we did and uh, you know 38 seconds a valiant effort syndicate with that use ass uh, white boy what are you doing with the c4s man but uh, you got the flag return not that it mattered too much we came so close oh there my uh, brightness goes but then comes back and this was really it we knew at this point it was over so it was pretty much good game oh and this okay so uh, this is why where you shouldn't use the UMP over long range. So this guy, uh, I think it's Yote in the... Is it Yote? No. It's Striker. That accuracy with the MP7 is just completely on point. And there we go. Just about. That is the game. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching a bit of competitive stuff. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more competitive stuff. What you thought. Did you watch it live? Have you just watched it now? Uh, you know, what are your thoughts? And um, other than that, um, signing out. Look at that accuracy. If you could do what White Boy's Gamer Tag says, like and favourite, that would be absolutely brilliant. But until then, I'm done. 23 to 21, two flag caps. Uh, nearly MVP, MLC Stealth took me on that one.